Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have for you another uh, sticker tutorial type of video. Um, this is going to be mainly geared towards my peeps trying to use the transparent sticker template for um, the weekly kit that has the like weekly ombre um, boxes on it. And it's mainly going to be geared towards those that are trying to create a file to upload to Cricut Design Space. Um, shout out to the two people who have mentioned to me that, hey, something is not right when I go to follow your tutorials. And I think the problem is, is that I overestimated the capabilities of other programs based on the fact that since Pixlr is a pretty light program, it's web-based, it's not anything super advanced that I thought if I could do it in Pixlr, which the other two tutorials are using, then I could do it in other programs. And that is false. So I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements today. It's not proper Photoshop, but I believe this process I've gotten to work and repeated it in multiple. I've repeated it in Pixlr, I've repeated it in uh, Photoshop, and I've repeated it in PaintShop Pro, which I'm going to tell you right now, I do not recommend PaintShop Pro. Do not use that program. Do not. So we're going to use this guy and what we're going to do is use Photoshop elements today. So I have like Photoshop elements 13, I think. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to open our pattern paper. So we're going to go over here and find where we saved our pattern paper and open that guy up. Now this is that quick and dirty one that I used in the other, um, the other tutorials. It's not high quality. It's not that great. It's just to be used as an example. I also have my layers pane open over here because that's going to be helpful here in a minute. Now to get the transparent sticker template on top of this, um, this pattern paper here, we need to go to file and then place and then find where we save the template. We're going to open the white uh, transparent template right now and click on place. And you click this little checkbox and it becomes unblurry. And let's see here. I think my computer is running really, really slow and I don't understand why. So now we've got that layer down. So then we go file, place, and we open the blackout file. So this is going to be a couple more. It's still pretty easy. It's still you can do it. I believe in you. It, it just has a few more steps than using Pixlr. So if you want the quick and dirty, go ahead and use Pixlr. If you want to use your Photoshop, which I don't blame you, it's, a, it's the, the program that you're most comfortable with, then you should be able to do this. Um, so we just click, click place and a little check mark and it's going to place the blackout file right on top of the white file that is on top of the pattern paper. And what I like about uh, Photoshop is that you can move this little menu bar keeps coming up and I don't like it you can move this guy and then it sort of will lock it in place also once you've like moved it around it kind of snaps back into place I feel like so um, I'm gonna delete this because I want to show you I want to show you the problem that we're having and why we need to open the uh, blackout file because when you take the magic wand like I did in that other tutorial and you click on this white uh, outline here you'll see let's see if we can zoom in a little bit that you're getting what you're getting selected is this full box and then one part of the ombre heart checklist and then all your other boxes you're not getting the whole ombre heart checklist so what we want to do, whoa, is, let me zoom back out here. I don't use Photoshop elements like at all. So I don't really know <laughs> the control keys to do this. Okay. So now we'll go to file place, open our blackout guy again and hit the check mark. And then go back over to our magic wand tool. So wherever in your program that you find the magic wand tool, you just want to have these three layers open. And we click on the white transparent one. And you can see this black file now has helped the program see what needs to be selected. So we can right click on this, delete this layer. Yep, we want to delete it. Then what we can do is right click and click merge down. Then we can click our delete key. And we have all of our elements popped out, if you will, on the page here. So you can just upload um, the, the image like this because Cricut is only going to see this part. It's not going to care about this other transparent part. And this we know this is transparent because you can see the uh, gray and white 
checkerboard behind the image. That is the universal sign for transparency and when it comes to programs like this. If you want to crop it down, you can crop it down. I'm going to show you that I'm going to crop it down. Uh, basically, I just clicked, clicked on my crop tool here and waiting for my computer to get itself together. I'm going to do my own crop, which is this. And I'm just going to hit the enter key and it's going to be, it's going to be great. So then we want to save this file so we can upload it to Cricut Design Space. So file, save as. You want to make sure you save it as a PNG file. Make sure if it's not drop down, you save it as a PNG file. Then we can name this, I don't know, Photoshop test. Hit save. Make sure these guys are checked here. You don't want to change anything. And then hit OK. And we wait for my computer to save it. And once it's saved, we can go over to Cricut Design Space, go New Project. Um, upload, upload image, browse, um, Google Drive, let's find it here, I've got lots of stuff going on, um, Photoshop test, open, complex, continue, and it's a super large image, but we're not gonna have to clean up anything because we, you know, it's transparent already. We can see here is blue, it's supposed to be gray, but it renders sort of as blue, blue and white checks, and we just hit continue. And we wanna save it as a print and cut image. So we make sure that print and cut is selected here, name it however you want, save, this might take a while. Then we just choose our image, insert images, and once it's inserted here, we can just change the height and the width, 6.75, and then we can unlock and make it 9.25. I'm not sure. This does this to me no matter no matter how many times I check that I have saved a file and exported a file at 6.75 by 9.25. It always leaves some change somewhere. So now you have your file. Then you just click make it and you do what you're going to do. So hopefully that helped you and kind of gave you an idea of one, how to troubleshoot that problem and two, how to cut stickers using Photoshop elements and maybe a similar program to that. The whole goal is to open a base layer as the, um, the pattern paper, then open the white file over that, then thirdly open the black file and then use your magic wand tool to select the white file and then delete the black file and however you have to do it to delete the selection or whatnot, whether that's merging it or whatever. That's what I found that I have to do with Photoshop. So then, you know, you just repeat this process for another pattern paper that you want to use this for or however you want to do it. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and see what else goes on on the channel. I will leave a link down below to the section of the shop where you can find these transparent images. If you're just here hanging out watching the video, I also want to let you know that I do have a printable of the month club over on my Patreon page. I will leave a link to that as well. It's $3 a month and you'll get access to an ever growing library of printables. So I'll leave that link down below as well. I think that's all I've got to say for you right now. So again, thanks for watching. And I hope this helped you out. I hope you are able to realize that it doesn't, it's so easy to make stickers. I just want everybody, everybody that wants stickers, I want them to have stickers. So I'll talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.